So today I'm going to show you a really super easy way to create an animated Google Classroom banner. Are you ready? Let's go! Um. Alright you guys, I've been totally obsessed with Ashley Guerrero's tip that she put out the other day on TikTok. Hey y'all, I'm going to be showing you how you can turn a picture of yourself into a GIF. And I posted it to my um, Instagram story yesterday. If you haven't seen it, she shows you how to take a live picture with your iPhone and then remove the background so it's kind of like a... Uh, a transparent PNG image only it's video so it, it removes the background for your video and then you turn that into an animated GIF and you can insert it into your Google slide and then I don't know the history of it but Kim Holes from Elementary in the Mitten my name is Kim I am a third year teacher in West Michigan took that idea that tip and she took her images and put them into her Meet the Teacher back to school presentation. And so in each slide, she has this little animation, you know, where she's in the slides and it looks so cool. So then I was trying to think of some other ways that we could use this thing. And I'm like, oh, it'd be really cool if you can change the banner in your LMS. So in um, Google Classroom, you can change the banner. So I was watching some tutorials and I couldn't find an easy way to create a GIF from a GIF, if you will. <laughs> so today I'm gonna show you a really super easy way to create an animated Google Classroom banner. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, the first thing that you gotta do is create your transparent animated GIF. So I'm gonna walk you through really quickly Ashley's tip on how to create this transparent animated GIF. Okay, the first thing you gotta do is take a selfie and it's gotta be a live photo. So what you do is you go to your camera, you make sure that live photo is selected and then you take a selfie doing some kind of animation like this. You're gonna wanna make sure that you take your selfie against a plain background so that when you upload your photo, it can easily remove the background for you. Okay, so once you've taken your live photo, you're gonna take it and you're gonna swipe up and from here you have some options. You can do loop, you can do bounce, or you can do long exposure. We're gonna take bounce, okay? So click on bounce and then you can see it looks like a boomerang. And then from there, you're gonna airdrop it to your computer. Okay, and then after you airdrop your photo to your computer, you're gonna go to unscreen.com. Then as you can see, it takes your photos and it removes the background automatically and free so here you go so then just click on the blue button it says upload clip then you're gonna find the photo that you just airdropped and there you go okay and as you can see it removed all the background right there so we're gonna go come over here to where it says download we're gonna click on the down arrow and we're gonna select a gif Okay, so from here, the easiest way for you to manipulate this animated GIF is to open up PowerPoint. So open up PowerPoint. You're gonna create a new presentation. So you go up to File, come down to Page Setup, and then you're gonna change this from the drop-down menu to Custom, and then we're gonna change the dimensions in here, okay? So we want this to be 10 inches by 2.5 inches. I don't know why PowerPoint won't let you change it to pixels. Maybe if you know, you can let me know. But So 10 inches by 2.5 is going to keep the scale similar to what the actual banner is, which is 1,000 pixels by 250 pixels. So 10 inches by 2.5 inches, click OK. And just hit scale. All right, we're gonna get rid of these boxes and now we're left with a blank canvas. You could of course use that cute Bitmoji classroom that you just made, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click and we're gonna change the background. So go down to format background, click OK. We're gonna use a picture 
we're gonna find a picture in here and I have one ready for us. Okay, so there's my picture for my background. That's the, the very first layer of this background. Okay, now I'm gonna add some words. Now the great thing about using PowerPoint as opposed to Google Slides is that you have all of the fonts from your computer on there available to you. So I'm gonna write, um, welcome to, let's change that to white and we'll change it from Calibri to Century Gothic. I'm gonna add a, another text box and I'm gonna say, uh, Mr. N's class and we'll change that font to white also and we'll come up with a different font. Oh darling, one of my favorites. Okay, we'll change the size of that. Now we're going to take our GIF that we made from Unscreen and we're going to add it in here just by just dragging it onto the image. Okay, so now we have it right here. I'm gonna resize it, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put it right, right here in the middle. So this is why we're using PowerPoint as opposed to Google Slides, okay? If you wanna make a GIF in Google Slides, you have to have multiple slides and it uses like a stop motion situation. So there's add-ons like Creator Studio where you can make a GIF, but it won't make it from just one slide. And if you come over here to File and you download this, the option to download it as a GIF is not available. However, if you're using PowerPoint, we click on File, come down to Export, and then we're gonna change this right here to Animated GIF and we're gonna change it from medium to large. We'll keep it at one, just to keep the size of this thing pretty small. And then we'll hit export. And then if you look at the bottom, it's exporting, it's all done you guys, okay. So now we took this banner right here, we turned it into an animated GIF file. Now we're gonna take that and we're gonna change our background. Once you're in your Google Classroom, you're gonna come down here to the right, bottom right hand side of the banner and you're gonna click on Upload Photo. We're gonna resize this right here and then we're gonna say Select. And bam, there's your new Google Classroom banner. Yes, it has a gray filter on top of it, and there is no way to change that right now, you guys. We all need to contact Google and let them know that we want this grayed out image to, to be gone. I don't know why they do that. Uh, I found a way to change the source code, but there's no way to save that, so it, uh, it just it is what it is, you guys. But isn't that a cool banner? Totally cool, right? So now, not only do you, can you use this for your banner, you could use it really in in any any place that you want. Ashley, I just want to thank you for showing me this. I love this. This is so cool. Thank you for being friends with Kim because Kim is awesome, and that's how I found you. So that's it, you guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, hit that little subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.